Vector Off World and today I'm going to be showing you how to install an exo rack. Okay, your first step is going to be to remove your spare tire. After the spare tire is off, we're going to be putting the mounting plate on, like so, and then putting that spare tire back on. Okay, now that the spare tire is back on, I'm going to make sure that the mount is centered, and then we're going to start remounting the spare. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the right bolt length. When I ordered my product, I measured it already. Mine happens to be a five and a half inch bolt. I'm going to be using my exo rack to mount my spare fuel. In order to do that, you're going to be needing to use roto packs and they are sold separately. The next step is to do the bolt and washer through the hole and you're going to be threading it all the way through. Like so. You want to put some anti-seize through the threads before you finish the install. Now it's time to thread the rack into the mount by threading the bolt in. You can mount it horizontal or vertical. Once you get it to the position that you want, go ahead and tighten it. But make sure that you do not over tighten it. Just enough that it won't spin. Once your main bolt's tightened, we're going to go ahead and tighten up that jam nut. Like so. Your next step is to put that roll pack on. Like so. Okay, make sure you guys check out our light riser plate for antennas and lights. It's sold separately. Thanks for watching, guys.